Hello, it's Holder here, and today I wanted to go ahead and review this folder made by Off Grid Knives. Now, I've dealt with Off Grid in the past. I've reviewed a few of their products. They were uh, definitely good to go. Uh, customer service is excellent, and it's one of the reasons why I chose to go ahead and uh, review this folder. So let's get into some more detail. Now, I'm very specific when it comes to my EDC and uh, certain criteria that I do look for uh, in my uh, everyday carry as far as my folder. But unfortunately, that usually comes with a pretty big price tag. And I've had a few subscribers as well as Natural Training Center members ask me uh, for viable choices that I would approve, uh, but at the same time would stick with their budget. And I do get sent a lot of folders, and unfortunately, most of them do not make the cut. But uh, I want to share with you some of the reasons why I feel that this may be something that would be practical for you. As far as confiscation, now I live in New Jersey, so there's enough issues that we have here. Uh, but then New York City is 30 minutes away, and I do work there a lot. And uh, I have issues with my everyday carry because folders are illegal in New York City. Uh, they want you to carry a uh, straight blade, which is ironic because it's the complete opposite in New Jersey. So you could tell these laws are there really not to aid us, but to complicate things. And then basically we're at their mercy. So the one thing that stands out to me is if I'm uh, carrying around my regular everyday carry that retails for close to $400, let's say, and that gets confiscated, that's going to hurt, right? That's going to be some serious issues and who knows what other things might happen in the process because I'm not going to be very happy. Now, if I have a folder similar to this, that retails for about $35 and has uh, certain features that are prominent for me and a must have for me. If this one were to get confiscated, it kind of, it really wouldn't hurt as much. All right, it still would bother me, but at the same time it's $35 as opposed to $400. So just another reason why uh, I feel strongly about having several EDCs. Now you multiply that with the amount of traveling that I do and being in Europe and the Middle East and things of that nature where no blades are allowed, if I do get caught with one on me, there's a very good chance that uh, confiscation is gonna happen and that's, that would probably be the least of my worries. Now getting into some of the specs and uh, some of the reasons why I feel this might be a good uh, choice for you as an EDC or even a backup EDC. It's uh, made of OS 8 steel, all right? So keep in mind that it's uh, pretty easy to get a nice, sharp edge, but uh, difficult to maintain it. But at the same time, if we are dealing with an everyday carry, this isn't something that you're gonna sit there to whittle wood with and so on and so forth. It basically has one main purpose, and that is to protect you in any type of self-defense situation. Now, uh, the grip is uh, pretty awesome, has this like diamond texture. So for somebody like me that sweats a lot, uh, it's ideal to have this type of uh, grip so that uh, I can shore it up when I'm doing and feel confident, you know, rather than having it slip all over the place. Uh, it also has this uh, thumb assisted opening, okay, on both sides, which is pretty cool. So you can go ahead and just open it like that. But it also has on the reverse side of it where you could index open it, okay? So you do have those two choices. It has a hole here for uh, lanyard. You have your clip, and it's pretty cool. It comes with a small uh, Torx uh, screwdriver, pretty much, and or tool, Torx tool, that you could go ahead and remove these two, uh, three screws, and uh, you can go ahead and carry a tip up or tip down, left-handed, right-handed, so you do have those multiple choices, which is also a great addition. The other thing that it does have here is also a glass breaker. All right, I haven't gotten a chance to test that, but uh, looks like it's pretty good to go, and it's on there uh, well. Uh, a little bit of a serrated edge here. All right, so, you know, for me, I still feel like it's it'll do to, obviously, with thrust things, right? You'll be good to go with this, and also for some slashing. The overall length of uh, the folder itself is about uh, four and a quarter inches, and the actual blade is just under three inches. So it does comply with a lot of the, uh, the laws or state laws that are out there. But as always, make sure that you check the area that you either live in or that you plan on visiting and carrying a, an EDC with you, especially a folder. Now I have uh, average size hands, medium gloves, uh, and this tends to fit me pretty perfectly. You could tell here with the guard and everything like that, my index finger fits right underneath there, the rest of the four fingers come around. So uh, pretty good to go and a good fit for me. But for those of you that do have uh, big hands, something you might wanna consider, this might not be the blade for you. So the bottom line, uh, if you're in the market, for a uh, Tonto knife and an everyday carrier that fits the budget, either as a backup or a primary. Go ahead and take a look at this uh, Off-Grid's uh, Tonto knife. It's a decent folder, 
price is good to go, and it might be just what you were looking for. This is Helder. I hope that you enjoyed this review.